Hell, Monday, November 30th. I think we're live now. It's Direct Mail Monday, November 30th, 2020. Steve Cypress here. And look what hit my mailbox. Uh, I haven't seen uh, a piece exactly like this one, so it really caught my eye. It's uh, a postcard on really thick, plastic, glossy stock. Uh, very cool. That also caught my eye, the high quality of it. I'm trying to get it in the light here. Oh, well. And uh, has a perforated kind of business card size thing here. See, so you can kind of rip down that perforation. Pull this card off with the big, most powerful word in all of advertising and marketing. The word free. I don't know what it is, but it's free. Caught my eye. I got to see what it is. It has a picture of a kind of healthy couple of people on there. And then on the back, again, on the card, free. And I looked at it, and it's from something called the Wellness Makeover Doctor. And I don't understand it, but what's free is a B12 Fat Buster Injections 5 total. I don't know if I, I guess you got to go in five times, once a month, once a week, five days in a row. They do all five at one day. I don't think so. But you get five total B12 fat buster injections, $100 value. Very smart that they put the value on there. Because especially when you're selling something that nobody knows what it is, and you have a great price, it's important to put the value. So, man, that's a $100 value free. And a Dio, another thing no one ever heard of, a Dio Wave laser treatment for pain, a $50 to $100 value. Don't know why there's a difference there, but, of course, uh, it's not like you have to explain everything on the postcard. You just say call for details. You realize people do call or go to the website for details. And uh, so on the back, they've got these uh, specials up here. Gee, tough to see with the... Is it blue or white? It's white on orange. And I got my lighting issues here. But Immunity Booster IV 250 ml, regularly $75, $50. Bucks. Hydration IVs liter bag, $99. NG Stole, am I pronouncing that right? Immune booster injection, regularly $20, bucks, 15 Add on vitamins to boost immunity, $50, no regular value. Wonder why, plenty of room for it. Uh, male, female, pre-hormone replacement, lab work is that some kind of like they call it the uh gender change uh transgender male free hormone replacement i don't know what hormone replacement is lab work 200 bucks doesn't say what a regular is but anyway all this stuff uh, seems to be this immune booster immunity booster iv edgestall immune booster so extremely timely because in the midst of this uh, COVID-19 going around, nobody's talking about boosting the immune system, when, of course, that's the number one defense against the thing. So, you know, there's no wonder that the U.S. has uh, got an extraordinary number of cases and deaths and hospitalizations and whatever from this thing, because we also have a McDonald's on every corner. And we're munching down chips, and we're drinking Cokes, and we're eating cheeseburgers, and we're doing all kinds of stuff that destroys our immune system. Smoking, drinking, everything. I mean, this is America. Uh, we are the most prosperous prosperous country in the history of Earth, and uh, therefore we uh, live like gluttons a lot of the time, and uh, uh, really weaken our immune systems. And so people with weak immune systems really susceptible to this thing. So I think it's really timely. I think it's a shame they didn't mention that on here, that the key to uh, being safe from any kind of virus or anything is to boost the immune system, of course. And so all they talk about on the bottom here, it says uh, anti-aging, hormone balancing, pain relief, IV therapy. So pain relief is a benefit. IV therapy is a feature, right? IV therapy is how they relieve your pain. Uh, Anti-aging, hormone balancing might be how they, you know, slow your aging or whatever. So 
not knowing a thing about this. And of course, I am not uh, into any kind of injections or IVs of any kind. I guess if I have a, you know, a life-threatening injury or whatever, uh, and they poke me all full of holes, I guess I'll deal with it. But uh, I'm not voluntarily, and I'm certainly not paying anybody any money to give me any kind of injections of any kind. So I'm into the message of boosting the immune system, at least not weakening it. And uh, I love the fact they got the green coloring. I think maybe that's, I don't know if that's in their, their logo, the green, or if that's just they use the green because of this, but it is a tree. But it goes with uh, health, green, life, anti-aging kind of stuff. I just like the thing, that, the fact that this gets attention. It's a hard to um, ignore, glossy, thick, plastic card with a fun little perforation here, redeem this card for free something or other uh can you do something like this in your business absolutely has the photo that tells the story of two uh, kind of middle-aged women there laughing and smiling and one's holding up a bottle full of green drink and these are really healthy looking active type of people and way to go so really well done interesting uh in the one flaw Let's see if you can guess the one flaw when you look at the address my beautiful wife Michelle, or current resident, which tells you, took off our address for privacy's sake, but it was sent to just willy-nilly to anyone in a certain zip code or whatever. Now, we are in an affluent neighborhood, uh, which means that we're more likely to spend money on our health. Uh, however, uh, if this, in my belief, the first W, of the wow strategy, the who, the ideal target market is where this falls short because it's just mailed willy nilly to everybody. And most people are likely like me, we're interested in our health, but I don't know what the heck a B12 fat buster or dio wave laser treatment or any of this stuff is. I don't know what a, what a Engistol immune booster injection is. Regularly 20, it's only 15. That's not even an irresistible offer, but the free is free, $100 worth of injections if you like injections for 100 bucks for free that's an irresistible offer to the right who to someone who's health conscious so instead of just mailing it out willy-nilly to everyone in a certain zip code or area or whatever uh the wow strategy calls for you to rent a list to get a list of people that subscribe to health and wellness magazine or are members of some kind of uh health and wellness or members of health fitness clubs in the area or you know, on and on, or, and of certain age and certain income and all that kind of stuff, all various selects you can use. But I think proper targeting, this would be a huge winner. If this is sent to health conscious people with a free $100 worth of injections, because they might like injections for their health and some kind of other treatments on here, IV lounge, vitamin shots, immunity boosters, et cetera. I don't know what et cetera is. And they have an anti-aging treatment of a PRP, PRF facials. What? Sent to the right target market? Anyone knows anything about this stuff? Likely to get a tremendous result, uh, response. Otherwise, they're likely to get some response because, again, it's an affluent area. And people are, have money to spend or are interested in their health will go in. So that will likely fool them into thinking it's working because they'll get a little bit of a response. They'll certainly make money on it. But they can make a ton of money if they just sent it to people predisposed to buy this kind of stuff. That's the lesson learned from that one. Also sharing a couple other things. Apparently, the annual, if you follow my Direct Mail Monday videos, the annual onslaught has begun. Time to renew my AARP membership. So there it is. Your new cards have arrived to activate them. Please return your statement today, which means please pay money. And uh, I like to see and to share with you, as I will do over the coming months now, their renewal campaign starts with sending me the old, hey, your cards and a window envelope just activates real easy. It'll get more and more and all different. They'll send me emails and phone messages and all kinds of stuff. Um, and eventually they will offer me a gift to renew. And that's when I'll renew. But uh, at the latest possible time I can see before it 
expires and causes all kinds of problems. But uh, what the heck, it's free. They're mailing me all kinds of marketing stuff that I want to see their renewal strategy. And that way I can recommend it and uh, do it for uh, my clients and in some of my own businesses as well. And hopefully you can too. And by the way, uh, interestingly, on the same day as that arrived, a pitch from ARP for insurance. If you don't know, it's an insurance business. It's all about selling insurance under the guise of membership in the American Association of Retired Persons or whatever. But it's all about selling insurance. I just thought it's interesting. Hey, renew. And at the same time, yeah, plus renew so you can keep selling the stuff. And then one last one. I don't know what this is. And that's why I'm showing it. This is a hand address. Is it hand address or fake hand address? It really looks hand address. And the two S's are, the four, there are four S's and they're slightly different. So it appears to be not a, simply a printed on handwritten font. Look at the two S's in Steve Cyphers. They're totally different. Well, they're both S's, but they are really different looking S's. And then there's an S on the bottom on Scottsdale and here on Scottsdale Road. So it looks like it's hand address. It's got a live stamp. Not, uh, not um, uh, canceled out. That's interesting. Post office did not cancel the stamp. But anyway, looks real. And it comes blind from um, some address I don't know anything about somewhere in Florida. So let's just see. And it's a card. Okay, so around the holiday season here where people are, are used to getting cards, uh, I'm like, oh, and maybe it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it's from, but. Let's fly by the seat of my pants, as always, here on Direct Mail Monday, taking out my trusty rhino letter opener. And let's just open this piece right here and see what's going on. Got me to open it. Got my attention. It's hand address. Got a live stamp. And I don't know who it's from, and it's a card. And it could really just be a card from a client or somebody. Look at that. It's a pitch from my old uh, business partner, Dan Kennedy. Now, this is where, it's interesting, this is where the, the handwriting ends on the actual card. It's all typed out. But there it is. Greetings. As an entrepreneur, you are trying to move your business along in uncertain times, not knowing what's going to happen in the months ahead. In this month's Gold Crown program, Dan Kennedy talked about his fears and phobias with an apostrophe. I don't know why phobias would have an apostrophe. Fears doesn't, but anyway. He said, I built in, um, I've bull in China shopped my way, sh shopped, interesting, my way through life, unafraid of any man, beast, situation or tasks blah 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 so uh i used to be one of the i think there were five of us one of the coaches in the dan kennedy elite gold crown program no longer a part of it but obviously still on their ma mailing list and uh this is the wife i believe of a friend of mine and one of the coaches in the program ron sheets who is from dotty sheets now, last I knew, Ron was living in the Cleveland area, but maybe this is either a second home or they've moved or it's just simply a blind address from somewhere in Florida. But very interesting. There you go. So uh, good work by someone associated with Dan Kennedy, an expert in effective direct mail, all small business advertising and marketing and sales stuff. Uh, they did it well. They snuck up on me with the uh, personal looking thing. A uh, uh, card, handwritten, live stamp, uh, blind, no name, um, an address, and they got me to open it. And then if I read this, maybe it's something I would respond to. So, well done. And there's another tip, something else that you can model, copy, use in your business. Hope you do. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. Hope you make a lot of money. And that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday for the last day of November. 2020 as we head into the final month of the year last chance to hit if you haven't already I mean this year of opportunity hopefully you've far exceeded your goals as an entrepreneur uh, but you got one more month to have some fun and capitalize and uh, and uh, celebrate and uh, that'll do it I'll be back tomorrow it'll be the 
Topical Tuesday, first day of December. Catch you then. Thanks for being here today. I'll hit this twice over now.